everyone welcome back to melva mel youtube channel so i am melva uh, socially go by mel that's m-e-l if you haven't please like subscribe to this channel and share this video don't be stingy share the video so other people can like and subscribe to the channel okay <laughs> but seriously uh, I'm doing this video because it's more so of an overview of the channel. Uh, I want to discuss my personal and professional journey on this YouTube channel. And so I'm doing quite a bit this year for 2024 and I'm so excited. And so I want to share with you all. And I'm sharing because I want to encourage and I want to inspire and I want to motivate you all to be the best version of yourself. Um, live in peace, live in happiness. Everything is not always peaches and cream, right? We have ups and downs, obstacles, you know, some struggles, some challenges that we may experience in life. But I want to let you know that you can still live your best life. You can still do the things that you uh, put your mind to, right? So think it, be it, and go do it, all right? So you got to have vision. And this is what I want to talk about, my vision, some of the things that I'm doing in life. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing is, um, well, first let me say this. I wear these shades now because I protect my eyes. So if you've probably seen some videos on YouTube, or uh, excuse me, Facebook or Instagram, I went to the eye doctor and I was like, you know, just protect your eyes. So this is what I'm doing. And then plus, because I am blind, my left eye is like worse than my right eye. So what I'm doing is, it's to avoid having to go back and do the videos over and over and over again because I know I don't look directly into the camera. So I want you guys to get the message and not focus on the fact that my left eye may be going way over there or my right eye going over there, right? So you're here to get a message. So you're watching this video and I want to make sure that you get what you came for, okay? So today, um, again, overview of the channel, right? Um... I've lost weight. <laughs> I've lost about 55 pounds. Um, still counting. I, I actually lost more than that, like 65. I probably gained about 11 or 12 of that back. So it was about 50, in that rough around 55. I haven't gotten on a scale in about a week. But uh, my highest was 302. Okay. I've been plant based. Uh, I went vegan for a while, then I'm now plant based. And, well, I guess you would say more Presbyterian, so I eat fish, um, a little seafood every so often, but I haven't had any red meat, any chicken, anything like that since 2022, the Christmas Eve, yeah. I haven't had pork in a long time, so I don't even remember when, but Christmas Eve, it, 2022 is when the last time I had any beef, pork, chicken, well, not pork, but pork been in a while. Uh, chicken, beef, anything like that. Um, and then over into 2023, I, about mm, four and a half months in, well, I say, I, I know to April 1st, I had had any fish or any type of meat. So from Christmas day of 2023 until April, April, April 1st of 2023. Um, Okay, confusing. Baby, Christmas Eve of 2022, all the way up until April of 2023, was a uh, I had no meat, none whatsoever. Um, and then I started back incorporating fish and stuff into my diet. So I've been eating fish um, since 2023. So. I would say I'm more self a pescatarian. That's a long spill. But anyways, I've lost some weight, okay? And now I'm going back plant-based um, to where I don't eat any meat or anything like that. So that's my goal. But I'm also going to talk about my journey, you know, cooking and cleaning, doing some things like that around the house. Um, but also as an entrepreneur, social entrepreneur, getting content ready, um, being an event planner. I'm also the founder and CEO of Living Beyond Limits. So a lot of my events and social things that I do is with Living Beyond Limits. And what that is, 
It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We provide services for the blind and visually impaired community through our education and training empowerment resources, okay? And networking opportunities. So those are some things that we do. We um, monthly host peer support groups in person and virtually. We also have some workshop classes that will be um, coming up this, uh, I want to say May is when we're going to start back with the workshop classes. And then we also have a couple of events that we host. Um, we have some things that's happening in April. We do a lot of things out in the community, going to um, museums, as well as just having meetups and things like that. So it's really for a social engagement, um, education training, and also to let people know that just because you're blind does not mean you cannot live a fulfilled life, right? And so um, our goal with Living Beyond Limits is to help individuals that are in the BVI community um, get that and to receive it and to um, live it. So that's what it is, living life beyond limits. <laughs> and then also with just family, my family and, and growing and, and just a lot of things that are happening. So I'm excited about that. But I have a couple of projects that are coming up. I am back in the writing room. So I'm typing, using a computer, duh. <laughs> I'm not just playing. But seriously, that is typically how I write. I use a screen reader, which is called JAWS. That's J-A-W-S. That stands for Job Access with Speech. And I'll go in more details about all of these things. This is just an overview. But I'm back writing because I have a book. Um, if you have not seen um, some of my Facebook and Instagram reels, you will know, well, you would see. Um, I'm doing a, can a blind person? Yes. Yes, we can. And so that is going to be a book. And I'm going to get it published. So I'm excited about that because... Everything is coming to fruition is I'm manifesting. I've actually manifest speaking engagements. Let me tell you a secret, y'all. I am not um, like this public speaker excited to be right. <laughs> but I do know that it does really engage. It helps people to understand who you are and what you bring uh, as far as your books and um, the things that you're trying to do um, in this world. And so I was like, you know what, God, I want to do more speaking engagements. And y'all, I've this month of March, I have like one, two, three. Well, I've done three so far. And I have two, three, three more to go for the month of March. All in March, right? And I'm so excited. Um, and then last year I had two that I did speaking engagements. And so I will tell you, yeah, I used to be so nervous. I still get nervous. I, that little nervous voice. Do y'all get that nervous voice? It'd be like, nah, uh, like it's all scary. I'm going to show y'all some videos. So you, you will know the difference because right now I'm just talking to my camera <laughs> and I'll post this video. But when I'm in front of people, there's this voice that come, like, I, I don't know where it's coming from, but I'm praying and hoping that one day that that would go away but i really enjoy it now i really take um ownership in it because i used to just be like okay i'm just gonna get up and say this but now i really sit down and i i type it out i write it out i put more thought to it and I, i'm really being um intentional when i do more speaking engagements um so i'm excited so if you would like me to come to you a city near you to speak um yeah Send me a message. I would love to. Um, and my my whole goal is to encourage and to to share my personal journey, so you may be inspired and to you know do those things that you choose to do in life. I lost a lot in my life, you know, from my parents to my vision to going through a tremendous um, verbal and abusive relationship. So, and then you know raising children as singly as a single parent, but now God has blessed me with someone in my life, has blessed me to have um, the strength to continue to strive for greatness in my life and put God first while I'm doing it. And so I'm excited about that. And I just want you all to know that having peace in your life and moving and removing other people that is not for you, that will talk about you, that will put dirt on your name or try to just, you know, keep confusion up in your life, like how to walk away from there and still be 
stand strong and stand tall in God's will, right? And still not just let it all go. But those are some things that we will be discussing in this channel is me as a vision coach to encourage you guys. Um, me as an entrepreneur to, you know, start the businesses and, and really see them flourish. And, and it's ups and downs, let me tell you. It's not pitches and cranes, um, getting things off the ground. Um, and I'm just excited, you know, I'm, right now I'm working on getting, I have a CPA, you know, being able to reach out to her and talk to her and, and just trying to figure out my tax issues and, and all that good stuff. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, I enjoy um, being transparent, candid, and, and just really just letting you know that not all the time we know what we're doing. Um, sometimes we have to do things scared, and that's what it is. Um, I'm also going to talk about, you know, disability, what a disability check, what that looks like, working, going back to work. You know, all of these things encompass um, who I am and how it has shaped me to be the woman that I am today. So at the end of the day if you please would like and subscribe to this channel please do so uh, because i'm going to take you on a journey and i want you all to to really flourish and grow with me as well so let's go do it y'all let's continue to live life beyond limits and yes can a blind person yes yes we can